Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys one of my all-time favorite chicken recipes sponsored by Reynolds Wrap. I'll be making my easy roasted French garlic chicken. Not only is this recipe incredibly aromatic and mouth-watering, but the flavors are phenomenal. You get that tender, juicy, flavorful chicken, that crispy roasted skin on the top. Nothing beats the flavors. I've been making this dish for probably over 15 years and it just never gets old and it's always a huge hit with everybody. We'll start by seasoning our chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper, layering it into a casserole pan with lots of garlic, shallots, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, and then get that into the oven and roasting. The aroma is incredible and you guys are gonna be loving this recipe from the very first bite. For the full list of ingredients and the printable instructions, don't forget to head on down into that video description box and over to my website. I'll have everything online there for you. Meanwhile, let's get started. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and before we could get started on the chicken, we need to prep our pan. I'll be using this large rectangle casserole today and I'm going to line it with Reynolds Wrap heavy duty foil. This is a really strong and durable foil that's perfect for cooking heavier foods since you don't have to worry about it uh, ripping or tearing. And I wanna show you a little trick today for how to perfectly fit your foil. So we're going to turn our casserole pan upside down Place the foil over the top of the casserole and kind of shape it into place. Flip the casserole back over and then this shape sheet drops right in. And Reynolds Wrap is a staple in my kitchen. It makes prepping, cooking, and cleanup so much easier so I get to spend more time with my family at the end of the day. And then once we've enjoyed this dish, I just lift the foil out and I don't have a huge mess to clean up. Next, I'll thinly slice a few shallots. These are going to be for the pan. I'll start by adding those sliced shallots into the bottom of the roasting pan. Just spread them evenly. You'll need about 20 to 25 cloves of garlic. I'll drop in about half of those into the bottom of the pan as well. Add in some fresh rosemary. And I love using fresh herbs whenever possible. They add so much incredible flavor and aroma. A bit of fresh thyme. And now it's time for the chicken. For this recipe, you wanna use anywhere from two and a half to three pounds of bone-in, skin-on chicken drumsticks, chicken thighs, or whole leg quarters like I am using today. Having that bone-in just makes the chicken extra juicy. And of course, that skin is going to be really nice and crispy and golden once it's roasted. I'll transfer my chicken into the pan. I'll grab my avocado oil. You can use olive oil for this recipe as well. Give it a really nice, generous drizzle over the chicken. This is going to help our seasoning stick to the surface. And you'll wanna season the chicken really generously with salt all over. Add some ground black pepper as well. And I like to add more fresh thyme onto the chicken too. And then I like to tuck the rest of my garlic kind of around the edges and in between the chicken. We're going to pour in half a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna put it kind of pour it around the edges. It's gonna add some extra moisture to the pan. And then at the end, once the chicken is roasted, you're gonna have a really delicious pan sauce. Pour in half a cup of white wine. Today I'm using Chardonnay. If you wanna substitute the white wine, you could replace it with the juice of one lemon and then add extra chicken broth so you have the same amount of liquids, half a cup. And our chicken is ready for the oven. It's going to roast at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour until that skin on the top is really golden and crispy. And you want the internal temperature to reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit. While this is roasting away, you could take the time to prepare a side dish of your choosing. This goes really well with mashed potatoes, pasta, rice, or you can enjoy it with my sweet potato gratin. I'm going to include those recipe links down in the video description box below and up on my website. Thank you. 
check out this incredible chicken. It is so incredibly aromatic. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen. I'm just using a spoon here. I'm gonna spoon that pan sauce over the skin to keep it nice and hydrated. And then you could dig in to enjoy. We'll grab some kitchen tongs pull out a piece of this gorgeous chicken and then you want to grab a spoon and add a little bit of the garlic and the shallots that have roasted along with the chicken and kind of pour them over the top and this is one of the reasons I love to add lots of garlic into the dish so then you can have uh, some with every single bite That's it for my easy roasted French garlic chicken recipe. You guys are going to love this from the very first bite. A huge thank you to Reynolds Wrap for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to head on down into that video description box for the recipe link and more info. Time to dig in and enjoy. This smells so incredibly delicious. I'm gonna grab some of the chicken and I like to grab some of the garlic and the shallots as well. This looks so good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think that delicious does justice for this dish. The chicken is so incredibly flavorful, tender, juicy. I love having lots of the garlic, the shallots, the fresh herbs, and that white wine really helps balance out the richness of the dish. You guys are in for a real treat with this one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't forget to check out the side dish ideas I have posted down below that will go really well with this chicken recipe. I thank you guys so much for watching my latest episode. And when you do enjoy this at home, leave me a comment down below and let me know what side dish you chose. I'll see you next time with a new recipe.